So the first simplification will look like this, pi over 3 and 0. Uh, we'll have, keep everything the same on the top, 4 secant theta, tangent theta, d theta, over, uh, since this is squared, this 4 secant theta, that will turn out to be 16 secant squared theta. And then same thing here, we'll have times the square root of 16 secant squared theta minus 16. Um, well, okay. Um, so that was our first simplification. Now let's go ahead and pull the 4 over 16 out in front. 4 over 16 is the same as 1 over 4. So we've got 1 fourth out in front times the integral on the range 0 to pi over 3. I'm also going to um, cancel out 1 secant of theta. I've got secant of theta on top and on the bottom, so the one on the top is going to go away, and since the one on the bottom is squared, I'm going to be left with the one on the bottom, so I'll just have tangent theta d theta over secant of theta, and then I'm also going to, while I'm at it, factor out the 16 inside the square root. So I've got 16 times secant squared theta minus 1. Let's go ahead and erase this. So, you know, it was great that I canceled out the secant, it was great that I pulled out the 1 fourth. All of that is simplification you have to do. Um, it's very important, it, it may not seem necessary to factor out the 16 at first, but it's extremely important that you factor out that 16 because, you may notice, now we're left with secant squared theta minus 1, which is a value that we have in our identity here, which is a substitution that we're going to want to use. Um, and the whole point of doing this trigonometric substitution is to get rid of the square root sign, and this is the identity that we're going to use to, to do it, so we need to have this secant squared of theta minus 1 pulled out, and we do that by factoring the 16. So now we can break this apart. Um, and I'll just, instead of rewriting the whole thing, since these two are multiplied together, this is basically the same thing as the square root of 16 times the square root of secant squared of theta minus 1. So this square root of 16 here is 4, of course. Square root of 16 is 4. And that is going to pull out on the bottom here as a 4. 4 times 4 is 16, so we end up with 16 on the bottom, and we just have the square root there. Um, we're also going to now replace secant squared of theta minus 1 with tangent squared of theta using this equation here. So this turns into now um, the square root of tangent squared of theta. Of course, um, when we have tangent squared, and we're taking the square root of that, this ends up is, is just going to end up being tangent of theta instead of tangent squared. So we end up with uh, tangent of theta on the bottom here. And now, as you can see, we can cancel out tangent of theta. So we'll be left with 1 16th times the integral on the range 0 to pi over 3 of 1 over secant theta d theta. And um, this is where we just start getting greedy. 1 over secant of theta is the same thing as cosine of theta. So we've got, I don't need to rewrite that whole thing for you guys. Um, this is the same thing as cosine of theta. So we have cosine of theta. And as we know from the established formula, cosine, or the integral of cosine of theta is sine of theta. So we're looking at 1 over 16. We're integrating here. We've got sine of theta. And that's our whole integral. But we need to evaluate this on the range 0 to pi over 3. So let's go ahead and erase all of these steps. So our unit circle is actually going to come back into play again here. So we're evaluating on 0 to pi over 3. 
as you remember, when we have a definite integral and we're evaluating on a range, we always plug in the top number first. So we have 1 16th sine of, um, and we're plugging in for theta, obviously, so we have sine of pi over 3, and then we always subtract, and we plug in the bottom number, 1 16th sine of 0, and that is um, how we evaluate the integral. So we've, uh, we've plugged everything in. Now we need to use the unit circle again to find sine of pi over 3 and sine of 0. Some of the you know, calculators these days might just do this for you, but this unit circle is what proves it here. So we have 1 16th, and then what we do um, is sine of pi over 3, basically what this means is where uh, the, you know, the unit circle value is pi over 3, in this case here, what is uh, the value of sine? And remember, sine is that, that y coordinate, that second um, coordinate point in, in this. So um, where we've got pi over 3 here, <clears throat> sine, we're looking for the second one, that is the square root of 3 over 2. So we can replace this whole sine of pi over 3 with the square root of 3 over 2. And then we have minus 1 16th. And then where our value is 0 on the unit circle, sine, which is the second um, coordinate again, is 0. Here we see. So times 0. So then we just simplify. 1 times pi over 3 is pi over 3. 16 times 2 is 32. And then this, of course, um, since we have the 0 multiplied through, just cancels. And that, finally, is uh, our final answer, square root of 3 over 32. See you guys next time.